Hello and welcome to 9design 3D. Today we will make this tactical basic vest. If you want, you can a bit optimize baking texture. After that, you can use it in your games. Let's go to the tutorial. First, I will download a human pose for tidy up and make suitable our vest for the body. I will download this. Thanks for the owner. Now you can import it from the Sketchfab add-on. You can go from the top right card. I showed before how to download and use it. Now I will Ctrl G to join them. Let's start making our vest. First we will add a cube in our scene and top and bottom face you can delete them with X. After that with the Ctrl R add some loop cuts. In the wireframe I will delete these cubes half of it and in tap to object mode again you can add a mirror modifier here don't forget to check clipping but this is too dense and too high poly i want to make my scene a bit light so i will delete some part of my body in tap to edit mode and vertex mode you can choose some parts of it and press x and delete vertices Make it in the wireframe. This torso is ready for now. If it's too high still, you can add decimate modifier to this and apply your decimate modifier. Now let's shape our cube. First we will scale and place it under the belt and you can add extra loop cuts in here. G to move your edges in the y-axis. Now you can add some subdivision surface modifier, right click and shade smooth. As you see, we will shape it now. Select all with A, E to extrude, right click and alt S to scale. Choose these top faces and E to extrude up. And scale an X axis. We will make vest shape with this method. For the back part, we will make same thing. E to extrude in Z axis. And after that, Add extra loop cuts for the back and you can move this. We will put this part of it for the character's shoulder. For the straps you can uh, continue to E to extrude it. And move some faces for the suitable your human body. And from the numpad one front view, first we will delete these faces. And after that merge at center these little vertices. If it looks a bit glitchy, you can move your vertices to in the y-axis. You can merge at center for this vertices and after that, as you see, it getting similar vest shape. For the front part, choose some faces from here and shift it to duplicate it, moving y-axis. You can dissolve these edge lines with X and after that, give a shape like a pocket. E to extrude this bottom edges and S and Y zero. For this, you can choose your side vertices and E to extrude in X axis. Still our clipping is opened in mirror modifier and we will use this method. Choose these four vertices and press F to fill. For the bottom vertices, choose them and merge at center. Make same thing, you can choose the side two vertices and press F. They will stick together in the mirror. And our pocket shape is ready now. Choose all of it with A, E to extrude, right click and Alt S to scale. We will give a bit solid shape for this. Now you can place it. For the side pockets, shift E to duplicate it and scale an X axis. We will make little side pockets for our vests. Which model you want? You can use some reference image from the internet and you can make new vest models. For the side, I will G to move, shift it to duplicate in Y axis and I am moving and putting near of my vest side. Ctrl J to join them. After that, add a mirror modifier to this and select your vest. Let's add top part of our side pockets. We will choose these top faces and E to extrude them. 
with the numpad 1 you can go from the front view and with the numpad 3 you can look from the side view and continue to E to extrude it. If face are glitchy you can move them down and give your solid shape for your pockets and move them. With the choosing all faces in around you can use alt. As you see some screen cast under the bottom left you can look at them. For the front top you can make same method. Add extra loop cuts in here and control B to bevel them. We will give a bit of pattern shape to this. E to extrude right click and alt S to scale. And after that choose these middle faces as in X axis but don't forget to make it in the individual origins as you see near the global. Now you can place and scale it for the giving solidify shape. I didn't use any solidify modifier in here. I choose them all with A, E to X root, right click and Alt S to scale. How you want you can make it. For the front faces I will shift E to duplicate them and P separate selection apply your mirror modifier Ctrl A all transform set origin to geometry after that you can add extra loop cuts with Ctrl R choose some face lines with the shift alt and press Y it will separate from the others as you see again press P and separate them choose the part and delete it as you see we will give a pattern and model it change the median point and E to X root in Y axis. You can add extra loop cut in it for make a bit sharp edges. For the side pocket we will make same thing. Choose some faces, shift it to duplicate it, move them in an X axis and after that select your back faces X and delete them. Add extra loop cuts with Ctrl R. Choose some faces with Alt and Shift and press Y and separate them. After that for the others you can choose them too. You can separate it and delete a one part. As the same method we will place it near of the pocket and you can use your with A select all and E to extrude right click and Alt S to scale. We will give a 3D good shape for this. Now let's make our shoulder straps design. First we will delete these faces and after that choose this front face and have to feel. Now we will move this behind the front part of the vest and have to feel. For the strap top faces you can shift it to duplicate them and P for selection as we made before. You can move them down Choose your side edges and E to extrude it. We will roll up around this strap. You can move your edge lines as X and 0 and after that change your vertices location and scale with choosing Alt and you can move them. How you want you can give shape for this. After all of that I tidy up my strap pattern and after that I will delete these faces. You can choose this edge line again and extrude it under the strap part. As you see we will roll up around it. And after all of that let's add this to solidify modifier. Edit and you can check your thickness from your modifier and tidy up it. If you want you can add extra loop cuts in it or you can move your vertices still. Let's add some little metallic parts for this. Shift it to duplicate a face and P selection. Add extra loop cuts for making a bit of square shape. You can scale it and E to extrude top and bottom edge lines. As you see we will make a little thing in here and we will add the solidify modifier. Let us metallic part. Add the circle first as a mesh and scale place it. 
In tab to edit mode, you can choose with all, A, E to extrude, right click and alt S to scale. You can give a round shape for this. With the proportional edit, shortcut is O, you can move your vertices and give a shape it like that. Shade smooth and don't forget to check auto smooth. Now you can scale it and place it to the front part of your vest. Let's add some materials. First we will add a vest material as a camouflage fabric. Go to shading tab. After that choose your principal BSDF. But before this go to edit preferences add-ons and type node wrangler. And activate it. Before this I downloaded some texture from the 3 dtextures.me that's fabric camo material I downloaded. Press Ctrl Shift T in Principal BSDF and choose your textures map. And it will be came in here. In tab to edit mode, select all with A and U and Smart UV project. As you see, it is too big. If you want, you can scale it later. In the UV edit tab, you can tidy up some part of it. We will add second material for this, but before all of this, we will apply our modifiers for our vests. As you see, our shape will be look like that. Now you can use to unwrap it again. I am using this for Smart UV project. As you see, our fabric is looking good, but it's too big. We have to change it a bit. And it's too light. You can add bright contrast node and you can decrease this brightness and contrast if you want. From the mapping node, as you see, we will change this scale. You can choose all of it and you can type which value you want for your model. I will make it this type of little shapes. For the side part, I want to add different material in here. With the plus button you can add your second material and assign. After all of that, I am choosing my inner of parts for my vest and assigning my side material in of it. With the picker you can get a color from here, but I will change it. If you want, you can give a metallic with increasing metallic and decreasing roughness. As a camouflage, you can add for your shoulder strap parts, but they scale are not good for us for now. You can change, you can press new material and after that type your new material's name. Under the mapping node, you can change it now. Don't forget to press new material button under the material part. For the front face, you can add second material and choose your camouflage. And after that, you can use to unwrap it again. If you want, if it's too little patterns, you can change it to the camouflage shoulder. For the sides, you can assign your material. I am adding my material with the same method. For the sides, you can press new material as a side metal and you can change your values. For the side pocket, I'm making same thing. You can use the Smart U project and unwrap it. As you see, I added subdivision surface modifier again, but I didn't like it my inner material. I want to change it. First, I downloaded this fabric knitted texture from the 3D textures me. We will change this color and it will look good. Under the shading tab, press Ctrl Shift T and choose your fabric knitted material. And as you see, it's too big pattern in here. You can change it with the mapping node scale. And it's look good now. For the changing our material color, texture color, you can add a color ramp. And after that, under the black node, you can select your picker and get a color. As you see, that's become something. If you want, you can make it a bit darker. Our West modeling is ready now. If you want, you can get some render in Eevee or Cycle. 
I model it with maybe you can use it in your games but you have to a bit optimize it and bake your textures and if you want you can uh, go to texture paint and adding different something on it or if you want you can make it really different model for this but use it game a bit optimization needed thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe see you later in new tutorials